What's up guys? Today we're gonna be making a slice of cake cake. My name is Lori and you guys are watching The Icing Artist. I started off by baking a 10 inch round vanilla cake that I'm going to cut in half and then in half again. Basically you want four triangle shapes. I stacked up my triangles using some pink buttercream icing. Of course, for all the recipes that I'm using in this video, I will leave links down below. Once it's nice and stacked up, it's looking a little bit odd shaped. So I'm just gonna carve that down a little bit. Now it's time to crumb coat my slice of cake using my buttercream icing. So if I need it to make it look like a cake color, so I used some ivory and a little bit of yellow and just kept comparing the color to my slice of cake to make sure I had the color right. But then for the back and the top of the cake, I actually crumb coated that in pink buttercream because that's supposed to be frosting, not cake. I applied my second coat of, of cake icing with a 789 piping tip and then just roughly smooth that out with my offset spatula. To make it perfectly smooth, I used a piece of paper towel and just rubbed that onto my icing and gently peeled that off and that gave me a nice and smooth finish. For my cake filling, I just used a ruler to mark out a straight line because every time I try to pipe a straight line, I end up with a wavy line. I am aware that this cake actually has three layers of filling and I'm only piping one, but, but there's a method to my madness. If I pipe three, there'd be no room for my adorable kawaii face. But I did three because I wanted to be delicious on the inside. For my icing icing, I watered it down a little bit so that way I had a different consistency, have a different kind of texture to it. I applied that icing to the back and the top of my cake and then just used my offset spatula to roughly smooth it out and then to make kind of like icing lines in it like you'd see at a bakery. And of course, if you guys haven't subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Now for the little kawaii face, I rolled it some black fondant and cut it some large circles. I then used my white fondant and made these cute little dots. I've never done this before, but I wanted to give this cake like a really big happy smile because everything about cake is, is happy and wonderful. How could you not be happy when you're eating cake or when you are a slice of cake? So I rolled out some white fondant. I cut out a circle and just cut that in half so it's like a big smile. <laughs> From this point on, I laughed the entire time I was decorating the cake because every time I added a little detail onto the cake, there was just this big kawaii smile staring back at me. For a cherry, I rolled out some red fondant into a little ball and for the cherry stem, I just used some flower wire and painted it green. I added on a white buttercream trim to the bottom and to the top and then a little dollop of icing on the top of the slice and then literally put the cherry on top of the cake. I am so in love with this cake. I came with this idea a while ago and was really trying to find an adorable way to bring all of the elements together. So I hope you guys liked it as much as I do and that big smile, I mean, come on. If you guys haven't already subscribed to this channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. It's right over here, you just have to click it. I will leave more videos over here that you guys might wanna check out. And don't forget to come back here again next week because as always, we'll be making something else into cake. Bye guys.